Hey guys, I'm out in my shop today and I haven't been out here for a few days. As you can see, my wood stove is empty and there are no embers in there to get a fire started. So I'm going to go through uh, my little routine and how I've found works best starting a fire. I have gotten a lot of feedback from uh, different people on um, what works best for them and I appreciate it. I was able to try out several different methods and this is the way that I found is the easiest way to start a fire. So. To get started, what I like to do is find a couple of bigger logs, bigger chunks, and put them on the outside. And I kind of build up a little bit of a, a wall along the outside here. Just gonna... I like this elm. I hate splitting it, but I like it for starting fires because it's stringier. And so it tends to start a little easier because of that. So what I'm doing here is I'm just creating a little cradle so I have an open spot in the middle here. And then I'm gonna take some paper. You know, some of you guys don't like using paper, but throw a little bit of paper on the inside here. And that's gonna be my fire starter. And then I have a bunch of this little kindling from just around the wood shop here that I'll start out with the small stuff. I'll pile it up in the middle. Once I get a good amount of the small stuff on there, then I'll add some of this a little bit bigger pieces of pine here that I have. And then I also have a couple pieces of maple I'll throw in there with it. Once I get it stacked in there good, just gotta light that paper and we'll be ready to roll. I've got bigger torches, but I just like using this guy. So we're going to just let that guy sit. The manufacturer of this wood stove recommends that you start the fire. You shut the door, but don't shut it all the way. Don't latch it. And you just leave it sit with the door cracked for the first 10 minutes uh, or until it gets up to a good burning temp. Um, so I usually leave the door cracked till it gets to about 250 to 300 and then once she's up to about 300 and she's looking like she's gonna cook pretty good, then I'll go ahead and latch that door. Now I've got both my dampers open on the wood stove to allow better airflow. So I'll let this guy roll for a little bit and I'll come back in about 10 minutes and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, it's been only about four minutes, and as you can see, this fire is uh, cruising pretty good right now. My flue temp is just under 300 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and shut, or just go ahead and latch this door right here, and let her roll. Just want to give a shout out to those of you that have been leaving comments down below, giving me different tips and tricks, things to try with um, the wood stove. Been very encouraging, lots of good feedback. So this is what I found works real good for my situation and i uh, hope it helps you if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and i look forward to seeing you in the next video